Nito has somehow managed to make a huge leap forward from the bot back connected, which was already a brilliant robot vacuum cleaner. With the introduction of my floor plan and no-go lines Nito has introduced an unprecedented level of control over a robot vacuum cleaner. Not just that, but the design is a significant step up to, replacing the, easily marked, plastic of the previous flagship with brushed metal, it's a vastly more attractive proposition. The only possible sticking point we've found so far is the price. Robot vacuum cleaners have gone from something of a novelty to a viable alternative to doing your own floor cleaning. While iRobot's Roomba may be the most recognizable name in the field, it's by no means your only option, and from our time with it so far, the Neato Botback D7 connected should have Roomba worried. Seriously worried. Essentially an upgrade to its previous flagship RoboVac the Botback connected, the Botback D7 has taken everything that we loved about the previous model and improved upon it. Well, almost everything, but we'll get to that. Nito really sold the connected using the fact that it intelligently mapped out rooms and guided itself using an array of sensors, rather than just pinballing around a room until it was clean. With the D7, it's taken this a step further by giving you access to the maps it creates, and allowing you to draw no-go lines that your D7 won't cross during a clean cycle. Nito markets this as a feature for avoiding children's play areas and your pet's zone that it may be protective over. For us, it instantly fixed a massive problem that we have with robot vacuum cleaners generally, they try to eat cables and so often get stuck under desks and sofas chewing on power leads. By creating a no-go zone that surrounded our desk, it meant the D7 didn't even go near the cables. It also meant that if we forgot to close the door of a room we didn't want it to go into, it's no problem as you just put a line across the door on the app and the D7 ignores the room. These upgraded smarts don't come cheap, the Neato Botvac D7 connected comes in at a hefty $799, 799 pounds, and is available now in the US and UK. It will be coming to Australia in Q4 of 2018, and we're still waiting pricing. This price tag puts it in direct competition with iRobot's Roomba 980, which is still industry leading despite being a few years old at the time of writing. With the D7, Nito clearly has tried to make the best robotic vacuum cleaner on the market, and while it's very impressive, the question is, is it good enough to take the crown? Nito has stuck with a design that looks like a capital D, a move away from the typical circular design of Roomba and Dyson's robot vacuum cleaners. What this means is that there is a 10.9 cm rotating brush underneath of the D7 at the front, allowing it to function much like a traditional vacuum cleaner head.